Anansi and the Melon Anansi the spider sat in a tall tree, watching goat work in his garden. Goat's melons look delicious, thought Anansi. The spider loved fruit, but he was too lazy to grow anything himself. When Goat left, Anansi dropped into the garden. With a thorn, he carved a hole in a melon. He crawled inside and began to eat, and eat and eat. Anansi rubbed his full belly. Goat will be back soon, he said. I must go. He tried to crawl out through the hole, but now he was too fat. I'll wait until I'm thin again. Anansi grew bored while he waited. When Goat returned, Anansi got an idea. He loved to play tricks. He could trick Goat. Goat picked up the melon. Ow! Anansi yelped. Who said that? Goat cried, looking around. Me, replied the melon. Goat blinked. Melons can't talk. Yes, we can. This is incredible, said Goat. I must show the queen. He hurried toward the palace. Rattlesnake saw him. Where are you going? She called. I'm taking this melon to the queen, replied Goat. It talks. That's silly. <laughs> Rattlesnake laughed. As silly as... A kind rattlesnake, said the melon. Rattlesnake scowled. <gasps> Who said that? I told you, this melon talks, said Goat. Amazing, said Rattlesnake. I will go with you. Goat and Rattlesnake headed toward the palace. More animals heard the melon talking. They followed Goat and Rattlesnake to the palace. Goat bowed. Your Majesty, we brought you a melon. The Queen frowned. I already have plenty of melons. This melon is unique, explained Goat proudly. It can talk. The Queen stepped closer. Speak, melon, she ordered. But the melon stayed quiet. Melon, I order you to speak. Still, the melon was silent. What a silly melon, the queen snapped. Silly, echoed the melon. You're the one who's talking to a melon. The queen's face turned bright red. She picked up the melon and flung it with all her might. The melon hit a tree in Goat's garden and shattered into pieces. Anansi crawled out of the melon. I'm thin again, he said happily. I'm hungry too. He scurried up a nearby banana tree. Goat returned to his garden. The melons, I'm never listening to you again. Good idea, called a banana. Talking melons always bring trouble.